Hi everyone. This is my uh, Magrav test results uh, on the first week. I have been running for one week with a constant 1250 watt. And I had a similar setup uh, or a reference setup in another room with the exactly same um, yeah, same setup. And I synchronized the counters to see uh, how it all works. And this is the result. The first day I have a difference on uh, 0 0.9 and on day 7 it ended up with a difference on, at 4.8 kilowatt hour. So I was glad. But unfortunately uh, yesterday I swift over the heaters, I took the heater from the reference system and put into the macro system and vice versa. And then I reset the counters and this morning I got uh, a total different count. Because now my macro system uses more power than my wall outlet on my reference system. In 12 hours I have uh, a difference on between two and three kilowatt hours. And what I make out of this is only that the electrical heaters are not uh, having the same consumption. So what we see now is it all going backwards. And it going backwards uh, exactly the same way it has had uh, going forward in a week, so I estimate that it will end up in a big zero. So the conclusion is my macro unit doesn't work. My macro unit doesn't work. I don't say uh, the system overall doesn't work, but mine doesn't. <laughs> uh, it can have uh, several reasons. First of all, I built my MacRef in the early uh, days. Um, I started on, on the first day after the first uh, lesson, video lesson, and I uh, also start testing my device before all those uh, editings were added to the blueprints. So, f from the beginning and, and how the blueprint looks now, I did uh, practically uh, everything wrong <laughs> um, because uh, I have been using 1250 watt in the first week and added to 2000 watt. That can be one thing. I don't know if my capacitors are turning the right way. Maybe I have two big coils. I made mine 180 turns instead of the 162 which now is edited to 144 turns. Then I have three GANs uh, balls instead of one in the middle. And so on and so on. So what I can do is to make a new macrof based on and the new options in the in the new blueprint, and um, to change all these things, or I can wait and see if any macros from the from the factory arriving at people's uh, homes, uh, giving any positive results. And uh, I have my doubts because when the first blueprint came out and I started build this macros. There was all, uh, already a macro on the market, which is supposed to work. I haven't seen any results on it, but it's supposed to work, if you, if you uh, yeah, ask Keshi. So, what I think is, I made my macro from the old blueprint, except from the size of the coils. And I end up with a zero. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to say. I just think at 
I know it's an um, evolving project and new things and new ways to do things appear every day. But, hmm, yeah, I have my doubts. I would like to see some results. So um, now I'm here with the options. Make it all over, make new tests or wait for uh, some results from the original macros. And to be honest, I think I will wait for some results from the original macro systems because I really want to see how they work. I haven't seen anything yet. So guys, um, this is my statement right now. I will um, take some days and uh, find out what to do. And uh, please ask any questions or leave any message you like. Uh, maybe take my counts and play around with them and see if you can find anything. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. But uh, I don't think so. I think my uh, the only thing I can can say is that my macro system is not built um, <laughs> the right way. So uh, maybe some of you guys out there have a, a better luck. Uh, I don't know, but please let me know. I will put up a new video as soon as I have taken my decision or find out what to do. So um, that's all for now and um, see you in the next video. Bye!